Wow. I have a couple of these fashion packs that look like this. You get them from Amazon. I don't know if you can get them from anywhere else. They come in these boxes. I don't know if I mixed up the two different sets. I think there's only two that you can get. And let me show you. They have two different barcodes. So, but I might have even mixed them up, so I don't know. But I think I'm, this is the one I'm going to open up since this is the one that I showed in the thumbnail. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Liam. Hey, Vanessa. I'm playing with dollies today. Um, I have these ones. The dilemma is that there are five, five dresses in a pack for each of these. I best show you the other one, too, I guess. Five. Five dolly dresses. And I have these ones. Hey, Nancy. Eyes be good. How's, how's yous bees? I have five of these, but I didn't rebody her. I'm waiting for a Naomi. Only Naomi can fit this body skin tone. But out of the new ones, I have these ones that I did rebody. And I really like them. But out of all of the new ones, I only really did love the five of those. And since I don't have an extra head, then... Hey, Andreas! Yeah, my hair is is looking kind of Elvisy today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the Barbie and the Rockers, but unfortunately, with the Barbie and the Rockers, I only have four heads, four new bodies on these ones too. These have to be WWE bodies for it to work. Hey, Vanessa. And I only managed to get these. And two of them are Barbie, which is ridiculous. But this girl, her skin is way too dark that she won't even fit on the Naomi body. Naomi body is close to this skin tone. So this girl can never really get a body unless there's another WWE one that comes out really... Hey, thanks, Liam. That comes out down the road. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to use these four. And also, I don't like their faces. Like, this girl, I love. She is awesome. But when I, I do like these two, but they're Barbie, and I don't really like to rebody Barbies. But because there's so much, I love the concept of Barbie and the Rockers, but I didn't really like the dolls that came with the set. Like, yeah, I don't even really like her, but yeah, I want to get as much out of it as possible. So I decided to rebody them and I do like their crazy hair colors. So that's it. And she has a crazy hair. I just, her face isn't the best. I don't know. I, I guess I put her hair up and she looks kind of cool now. So that's cool. So um, um, love your hair today. Oh, thanks, Andreas. Um, how do I get a blue name? Hmm. Oh, they those people have administration. Those guys have it at um those guys can can I don't know. Somebody tell somebody tell him why. Um I wish I could buy the rockers here. Um they're available on Amazon Canada now, which they weren't before. We could get them. You can only get them at Target in the States. You could only get them at Target in the States. Then you can, in Canada, you get them at the real Canadian superstore, which is great. Hey, Alejandro. I've got 45-year anniversary Silkstone Barbie doll in my collection. Pictures on, Inst on her Instagram. I saw those, Vanessa. They're really nice. Oh, yes. He's an ad administrator. Can I be an admin? Uh, no, not yet. You have to prove yourself. I don't know if I can trust you, Ian. 
Ian. Liam. You have to, like, uh, you know, follow me, comment on my videos. I have the the rocker drummer. She's a really cool one because she comes with drums. Wait, I have that stuff right here, which you probably want to see. Here are the drums. So awesome. At least the musical instruments were right off. Here are, here are their bodies without heads. Here is a pink saxophone with a blue strap. Here is a seat for a drum in fluorescent green. Here is a violin. Here is a purple guitar. Here is a lime green guitar. And then here are some headphones. And three micro oh yeah three microphones, and then we have a bow and some drumsticks here. To top it off, but let's just put that stuff back in here. So we're not going to do a rock band today. What we're going to do is try on some of these clothes. Jason, what are you going to do with? all your old Barbie doll bodies? It's a good question, Vanessa. I was going to show you. I think I'll show that in another video. But I, I have a collection of Barbie doll heads and Barbie doll <laughs> bodies. All right, so we need a stand-in for this girl. We're waiting for her new body. I guess I'll just put these ones aside now. So I guess what we're going to have to do here is choose one of these two. So that's what I'm going to get you early folks to do. Vote now. Do you want the fro girl or do you want the blonde girl? They're both blonde, but we're going to call her blonde girl and we're going to call her fro girl. So vote now who should be the fifth girl to try on the clothes today. <laughs> and look at this cult outfit that I put on her. Pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. That was just me playing. Okay, so let's see. We got some votes coming in. Um... We got Fro, we've got Blonde Girl, we've got one each. I don't know when the votes are going to run out. I don't know when it's going to be okay, but I will get these dollies undressed while we're waiting to put on these fashions. And still waiting, still waiting for more of your votes. Vote now. And thanks for your likes too, guys. I love your votes. I love your thumbs ups. Blonde. Nancy says the blonde one. Oh, Andreas is the blonde one too. Looks like the blonde looks like the blonde one is ahead by a long shot. I was expecting it would be the fro girl. Um all what are we voting on? <laughs> We're voting on um which one do we choose? Which one do you want to see dressed up in some new fashions? We have four, but we need to choose one more. Fro or Blonde Girl? Blonde it is, El Jandro says. I just got no notification again. I just saw it came. It was on YouTube. Oh, that's sad. I guess that's why there's not many people in the room right now. But I'm glad that you guys are like hanging out on YouTube today. Guess the notifications aren't working anymore. Luckily, I think people will come and want to see this video in the future. I'm going to say that um, Blonde won. 
so it looks like her which I'm kind of happy about because I've never used her and she's a brand new one for me and this girl did get plenty of play so it's a good decision everyone Oh, Vanessa just went in for the puff hair. Hi, Jason. Hey, everyone. Hey, Lena, thanks for coming in. Thank hey, Val. And anybody else I didn't say hello to. Soul Train. Buy, try the long dress on her. Okay. Wow. We already, El Jandro even like stepped in and wants to, he already chose this dress. So that's what we're going to do on the blonde. Forgive me if I don't see anybody else's suggestions. I'm not liking how this shirt looks. Whatever. I should be cutting these off with scissors. Where are my scissors? There's going to be tiny little fasteners all over my floor. I'll definitely have to vacuum. Sorry, I did not open the thrift chest again today. It just, by the time, I, by the time I get around to it, and oh, I don't know. Tomorrow is recycling, and I have a lot of recycling boxes that have to go out, which I should have been sorting. I'll have to do that after this video, and then I can like, I do have like a couple bags of like old toy boxes and stuff, packaging that I just have to put in the recycling. So I'll do that and then I'll free up this area where I can just sit down there with the camera and show you what's in my vintage box. Try the long dress. Okay, yeah, that's where I left off. Um, you look cool. Thanks, El Jandro. Um, Naya, N Natalia is a great doll. Oh, N Natalia is a great doll. But I'm going to rip off her head anyway. Hey, Dom. Try the orange trousers and blue top on the pink fro girl. Okay. Okay, Liam. That's what I'll do. All right. So... I think I think this is looking good. This is quite um, quite a combination. Not a very subtle dress. These are the problems that I have with Barbie fashions: is that they're like a little too in your face. I like my clothes to be a little more understated. Hey, Catalina, you're here to play Barbies. We're playing Barbies today. So this is our first uh, dress that we've got on this blonde girl. It's nice. Do you notice how that's a sparkly top? That's cool. All right. So we all, we, all, we got a vote for the orange trousers and blue top on this girl. And I do like that combination because all of the other outfits had pink in them. And that would be kind of like, uh, kind of trying too hard. This is like uh, pushing limits by not matching her hair to her clothes. So I'm down with that. The trousers, I have opened up this fashion pack before in a single pack. And these trousers have an elastic waist in the back, which is cool. Um, hello, I'm from Brazil. Hey, Prime. I'm from Canada. I have a Natalia and I am looking for a head for her. Oh, well, it's a very um, popular Barbie skin tone, so you won't have a problem. The one that I like the most is the fro girl. Looks really good on her. There's a dark complected girl with the fro. I don't remember what her name is. I use her as my Shayna. And she's definitely one of my favorite of all time from the Fashionista collection. So the pants are looking good. If you notice, they're a little, you know, loose on her. Hey, Speech Fairies. 
<laughs> Very bold. Very bold indeed, Catalina. No accessories. There are accessories, but we're going to accessorize later. How about that? We'll start with the regular clothes. This is a pretty sweet top because it has peekaboo shoulders. What was your name before? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, um, I don't, I feel kind of uncomfortable saying your name, Dom. All right, here we go. Put the top on. It's not always easy to dress your WWE girls because they do have, uh, they're curvier and they have more body to their body. They have toned muscles. Hey, speaking of muscles, give this video a like. You guys are awesome. So this is what she's looking. Okay, so the polka dots probably aren't a good choice for her because and I probably should have seen this coming I don't know why I didn't because she's kind of looking clownish with the hair and the polka dots and the multi multi colors so in her case because of her fro I think we probably do want to match her hair to her outfit because yeah she's going to end up looking a little clownish um Normally, people who have a, a bright colored hair or something, they kind of have to tone down their outfit to and let it because otherwise, like their hair is what's going to steal the show. So we have to settle them down, but we'll keep that for now. Do we have any other votes for the other outfits and the dolls? So, what is she going to wear? Anybody? Anybody? I know what I would choose. Let's see if you guys will choose the same thing. Well, speech says the floral. Hey, Batsy. Try the sparkling dress. Says Eljandro, you guys, you you all chose the dresses that I I thought that she would look good in this dress. I thought the stripes would bring out the color in her hair. What did I just lecture you guys on on matching the outfits? Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one, and I'm I think this is gonna look best on her, even though the stripe is a pink. But from a distance, it does read as a very similar color to her hair. So let's see this. And this is a dress that I actually bought singly, that I bought from the Mattel store in L.A. But I never actually opened it yet. But I also have it in this pack. But because it is such a basic dress, and it's like in a jersey heather gray, well, I'm doing pretty good with these these fashion terms that I thought it would come in very handy and useful because it is just subtle and it is kind of an, also an 80s pattern. So I like that about it too. And I like that it's like dressy. It's a dress, so that makes it dressy, but it's casual at the same time because it's in a, like this jersey fabric. So let's see how it looks on a fashionista and i think this is a great choice for her because with her hair up she's edgy yet sophisticated because it's shaved and this dress is also edgy but sophisticated so i i'm down with this look i think this is a very good look but this dress would probably look good on any of the girls because they all have a little bit of pink going on in them I mean, even, like, lips are pink, so. And, you know, Barbie in pink, she always looks good. Hey, Jose. All right, so 
That's that's that dress. So now, am I gonna? Are we gonna? Is somebody gonna decide on who's gonna get this dress and who's gonna get this dress? Look, you can kind of preview and see who looks good in which dress. Wow, this is a hard decision. I think it doesn't really matter which one would wear which dress, but I do, like Eljandro just said, I do like the double pink, and she could look good in here because, I mean, all of that pink. There's probably some green in here to pull out the color in her hair, which would be interesting. And then I do like a monochrome doll. So this might be really cool, too. So that's what we're going to do. Floral on pink hair. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're getting some arguing opinions again. We might, we'll we'll try some other combinations though. Don't worry. I'm not gonna be able to pull out these things. Okay. All right. This is this is a crazy dress. I'm never a fan of these like cutouts in the side because I think it's kind of uh, inappropriate. <laughs> Pink hair with sparkly dress. That's what we're doing, Nancy. I think I think my voting is on a delay. I'm not sure. I think people people see my videos way after the fact. I think some people get delays on YouTube and some people don't get delays on YouTube. But let's pull this dress on. I always wondered if a live Barbie fashion video would be a good choice. Where are, where is my scissor bucket? Oh, it's over here. When we're dealing with 80s fashions, I always like to use my red, my red um, zebra stripe scissors. Cut out those fasteners. Put this on. Okay, all right. So she kind of looks like out of this world. Um, the peekaboos aren't, they're not looking so bad. They kind of look um, space age or modern opposed to, um, how am I to say, uh, 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 inappropriate. Yeah, I think actually it looks pretty good. It's definitely slimming. I think have a feeling that these would definitely fit on curvy dolls as well. I think this whole collection are um, adaptable to most, which really means that they don't fit anyone perfectly. But because the WWE girls have a little more curve to them, they fill out Barbie clothes very, very well. Articulated dolls. Are these the fashionistas? These are the WWE rebodied, but these are not the fashionistas. Today we are using, well, four of them are the Barbie and the Rockers, and I just don't love them. This girl I love, the one with the fro, but the other ones, yeah, I don't love them. So I decided to put new bodies on them because I wanted to get as much out of them as possible because they weren't inexpensive. So she's looking good. So we've got one girl left and that's Barbie herself. Barbie with green hair. Never would you ever think Barbie would have green hair. And then she's got a pink elastic in there. It's a good Barbie. I did notice that. Her eyes are very sunken in. I don't know if you can really tell. It's kind of interesting. And I guess this Barbie has the same face, but her eyes are more separated. 
So when her eyes are closer together like this, her eyes really looked sunken into me, more so in real life. You can definitely tell from her profile. It's a weird head sculpt. I like this blonde better. Always the curvy dolls have um, really good heads on them. I guess most of the time they put this head on the, cur on the curvy girls and they just paint it differently. But I really like this head. It definitely looks good on the WWE girls. Did you have childhood dolls? Um, yeah, I did. Um, I, I had um, I had a Ken doll that I used to use as a GI Joe because you couldn't get GI Joe. And then I also have told the story about I used to play with my cousin's Barbies because and then every time I would do it, I would actually put their hair up like this and I would put glasses on them and make them like um, sexy librarians. And then they would take their hair down and they would shake their hair down and then I would just Re react that over and over again. <laughs> All right, so our final outfit is this pink top and this elastic waistband skirt, which is fun. And we're going to put this on like so. Yeah, it was a good time as a kid. Well... Interesting. So because of the elastic band, I guess you can kind of like hook it onto her underwear, but then she has to wear it really low. Yeah, there's no real way, but then I guess it goes high waisted normally, which is cool that it fifties it up. Let's see. A lot of these have given me like 1950s housewife vibe. Except for the colors. No, the colors are probably adding to that. This pink top might be the most versatile piece from the collection. Because it is a solid. It's just... It is disappointing that Barbie doesn't make enough simple basic solids. That is always my complaint. That is always my complaint. That is always my complaint with Barbie. This is weird because it Velcros on the side. I always find that weird too. When things don't Velcro directly down the middle. But this is a really thick, it kind of looks like a short sleeved cardigan. But it's cute. I mean, it's an interesting look. And it's good that the dress does ride up, because if she pulls it down, I, I don't know about that look. I definitely think this is better. I mean, I'm not a prude or anything, but sometimes some things might be a little inappropriate. I've been using that term a lot. Hey, if you're watching this video and haven't given a like yet, give it a like. I love your likes. You guys are the best. You have a good eye for fashion, Jason. Um, I don't know about that. I just know what I like and what I don't like. So, does anybody have any ideas now? What we should mix or match or take together? The only things that we can mix or match are these ones because they are two pieces. So let's try that. Let's put on this top with the floral dress. I actually think that'll look kind of good. I don't feeling this one. Oh, maybe you didn't like that last outfit is what you were saying. Which I can't, I can't not agree with that statement. You sound like a dad. You said, yes, when when um no daughter of mine, no daughter of mine. Do you tell dad jokes? Um, no, I I don't know any jokes that I would tell would probably be again very inappropriate. I don't ever tell jokes though.
All right, so I do like this outfit better. I think it's a little um it's a little more interesting. It's a lot more interesting. It's wrong. It's like there's a Japanese kind of fashion that I don't know what they call it, but it looks like this when you put together things that don't really go together. Anyway, it looks good on her because she has simpler hair, even though it is green. But uh, I think I like that outfit better than what was given to her. But normally, well, I mean, a basic plane with a pattern is definitely going to be a better choice. Let's try on pink and orange. Pink and orange are a great combination together because they clash in a right in the right way. And because these are both solids, this is going to be a pretty good outfit for a Barbie because you're never ever going to get that. So yeah, this outfit is a winner. I am now liking this outfit a lot. This could be my favorite outfit of the day. Besides this dress, probably. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good. And then this one's a little bit deafening. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps. Um, uh, the fro girl looks better now. Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, pink and orange go well. They do. They clash in a good way. It's a bit much. Oh, Andreas thinks it's a bit much. Oh, I love that. Um, <clears throat> um, looking good. I'm not a fan of orange, I guess. Not everyone likes orange. Jason, your hair is fabulous today. <laughs> I just um, wet it before I, w I, I put a video because it was not looking so good and I didn't think it was appropriate, again, for me to come on camera looking like a homeless person. So I shaved, I actually cut my neck and I use some electric clippers. They shouldn't um, cut me. I'm gonna swap up this dress with this dress. We're gonna test that out. This is a pretty, this dress surprised me. It's kind of cool. For some reason, it really 1950s Stepford Housewife reminds me. But I guess it's kind of like, I don't know why that. She's kind of like a robot in this outfit. Her pink hair and her pink dress kind of makes me think of a probably 1960s robot. But let's try this dress on somebody else and see if I feel the same way. No, oh, pink and orange you like, but not with brown in the hair. Is that so? I, I, I think she looks good. Brown is a neutral. Brown is supposed to go with everything. Um, Fembot. Fembot. Yes, definitely a Fembot. I've always been obsessed with Fembots. Let's see if the other girl looks like a fembot with it on. Yeah, Fran 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 Frenchy, I agree. I hope, uh, I don't know how well the other combinations are going to turn out, but we'll see. But I call it, and I've coined this phrase in my videos before, uniforming. So when you put all of the same colors together, and you just make it one monotone kind of, or at least the same color values and you put them all together to make it look all uniform. Kind of like when people wear suits and stuff. But I like that. I like when people wear top to bottom, the same color. And especially if your hair's the same color, it just looks surreal. So yeah, this, this is a surprisingly, uh, favorite dress of mine the neck isn't even the the neck is ill-fitting it's like a boat neck and it but it fits a little loose and then i bet you this would fit really good on a curvy girl and it is single-sided or two-sided pattern solid on the back this is super like flattering for the cutouts and i don't think it looks as 
improper as it should. But yeah, I like this dress a lot. It's fancy. All right. And let's put this dress on this Barbie. This Barbie is so cool. Maybe I am happy that I put her on a WWE body after all. Just like I don't have too many Barbie heads. I like the unique characters that you get with the fashionistas. So every single doll that I rebody is different. And I already had a Barbie. But the pink one is really cool. I did... I did think that I was going to use her as my gem custom, but I just didn't think it was right to make Barbie gem. Hey, Roberto, thanks for stopping in. Um, greetings. The bodies of which superstars did you put on the fashionistas? Oh, that's a, that's a tough question. Um, there's only, well, I can't say that there's, a lot of the, the bodies come in a lot of the same tones. So the twins, all of these bodies are on the twins, the Bella twins. Uh, and also, uh, I guess that it kind of has to be a separate video because I don't remember all of their names. And there's a lot of uh, yellow skin toned ones. And that is what is on her. Most of the bodies that I have are the yellow skin tone ones. And then I had to buy a lot of Lana's. So this is the Lana skin tone, and that's the palest one. And I actually was counting the amount of outfits I had. And I think I had 10 or 11 Lana shirts. So that means that I bought 10 or 11 Lana dolls because her fair skin is very popular in the fashionista world. Are you guys telling your ages? How old are you, Nancy? Why did you want to know how old Nancy was? I'd like to pull on a bold opposite color through these um, peekaboos to break up the pink. Yeah, that's true. This dress would look very good on a very um, dark-skinned girl, for sure. Which they did in my last, where is it? The last peekaboo doll I had. Here we go. She's got the same dress on. And uh, yeah, it looks nice to see her skin tone through it. And I surprisingly think that she can pull off this dress really well. Okay, I didn't really show this girl in this dress. And again, pink and orange seem to be the combo of today. So looks like these girls could be a duet in their in their rock band. Oh, she's drummer. She's the drummer in the rock band. And I think she came with... Oh, wait. She was the special one that dressed up in all the fashions. Is that who she was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the one that came with all of the mix and match fashions in the Barbie and the Rock. This is a very good look for her, too. I'm sure that this dress would look amazing on her, too. So pretty much all of these things would look good on Barbie. And I guess that's because Barbie and pink things are always the best things. My two favorites today. What are your two favorites today, Andreas? Um, Frenchie loves her. Jason is eternal of what? Oh, of my age. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about my age. He is our dad. <laughs> hey, guys, here's your papa. Dad's playing with Barbies. Um, naughty. Um, we are the same age, I think. Um, is Natalia a yellow toned, would you say? Um, Natalia? No, Natalia is a very... She's the darkest skin tone. All right, I'm going to get my heads, and we'll settle this. This actually fits into the video quite well today, because... Vanessa wanted to ask what I did with my Barbie bodies anyway. So anyway, and, and, and on top, I keep my fembots. I think the made to move Barbies look so much like robots. So I definitely call them fembots 
because they their bodies are all robotic and they have so many joints and they bend so weird and their arms look so weird we are robots and like if somebody invaded my toy room or somebody found this i don't know how healthy this is to have a box full of heads there's a lot of heads here <laughs> of different skin tones but the, it's also good to hang on to these if you want to know if a body tone is going to fit than to bring over the head oh i guess i only have isn't isn't where's natalia it's in here somewhere Naomi, no, 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 Natalia is the, Natalia does have the yellow skin. This is, this is one shade. And then oftentimes you will get um, a lot of um, girls who are supposed to be African-American, but they'll have this very light skin like her which does match with the Bella, the Bella Twins, which is, that's their body. But also, if you can't get a Bella Twin, this girl with the bright red hair, which is actually very pretty, she also has the same colored skin. I remember Roseanne, Darlene found the box of the heads under the bed. Me too, that was a really good episode. So yeah, they all have the same skin tone. Here we go. Here is Naomi. No, Naomi has the darkest colored skin and the darkest colored body. So I actually have another one of her coming to put on, to put her head on the Naomi body. And yeah, it's going to, it's going to look, this head looks like it even works better. Wait, of course this head works better because that's the original head. But that's going to work out really well. You can tell that if it works for her head, then that head is going to work for the body. So she's the only one in that skin tone. And then uh, this girl, Sasha Banks, has a in-between these two skin tones. So it's just, it's a little lighter than Naomi. So it comes in very handy too. The shaved blonde haired fashionista, the one that has the shaved head, she works very well with this. And there's one other WWE girl that has this hair color, but she was only released once. So I'm forgetting what her name is. But if you check out my fashionista where I cut with the shaved blonde haired girl, she has you'll see uh, the name of that WWE girl. I just forget her name right now. And she's a very popular WWE girl. If I saw a froggy doll, would you get it? Um, no, I did see a froggy doll and I didn't get it because it was 35. It was either, I think it was 35 US and that was at Walmart. It was either 35 US or 30 US, 29. It was probably 29.97 at Walmart. And after exchange, like I couldn't I couldn't do it. So instead I got the Malik boy the Malik one from Fresh Dolls and he was on sale for 15. So that was justifiable, but I really really wanted to get the Froggy doll, but I couldn't justify that price. So that's the answer to that. Let's take a look at the accessories now that came with this pack that I just left in here. First, I guess we better like fix these outfits though, because I don't think we can leave this fashion like this, can we? No, no, we can't leave that like that. Unfortunately, we only have one option. Oh, well, I shouldn't take the shirt off. We know that the polka dot shirt cannot work with Bozo with the bozo hair.
So, like, that would probably come to $45, $50 Canadian. So, that is also why. And it's not, um, the Canadian American exchange isn't like a other country. It's not like, like when we see a price, it's supposed to be like on par. And sometimes it was in a f like, I'd say, what was it? Five, five, sometimes, <laughs> what have I tried to say? Many years ago, not too many years ago though, the Canadian dollar would be better than the American dollar, but that hasn't happened in a really, really long time. This is all dependent upon gas stuff. And I wish I wouldn't have taken her shirt off because her shirt wasn't supposed to come off. So when, when we pay something like $25, it is kind of supposed to be exactly the same price as American. But right now when you do the exchange, it's not. The good thing about shopping at Walmart, though, in Canada, though, is sometimes we get the American prices on our toys. So that means that the toys are actually cheaper to buy in Canada after the exchange. Okay, this outfit kind of looks good on her. A floral skirt like this is never <laughs> going to be a good idea. And like I said, with her, she shouldn't wear crazy patterns because her hair is crazy. So she should let the focus go to her hair. But all in all, this is not a bad outfit on her. This outfit I've never been a fan of together. I think I like the pants. I like how comfortable and simple the pants are. And I like the top, kind of. I like the cut of the top. But I don't know. And I like blue and orange together. They're complementary colors, but I just, yeah. Okay, we got to change this. She can't wear this because of her green hair. This top, we're struggling with this. Do you know who we're going to have to put this on? The plainest girl. The girl who is plain. So let's swap that up now. Before we get any accessories going on. What did Batsy say? That's not that's not good. <laughs> Halloween doll box. My tablet's not charging. Oh, that's not good. You better plug that in. I'm going to Disney World soon. What? I've never been to Disney World. I don't know if I would like it very much. Because I don't really like rides. And I don't like standing in lineups. Yeah, is there anybody else this would look good on? No. No, 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 it wouldn't. I don't like crowds. I don't like lineups. I get really mad when things cost more than I know I can get them for. And I also know that Disneyland is really expensive. So I would probably be really mad all the time because there are no deals at Disneyland. Everything's really expensive. The rides are super expensive. Then you have to pay so it's kind of like I don't like to go to concerts either. I'd rather like buy the whole library of, an, of a musical artist than go to see them live. That being said, I've been to some really great concerts that blew my mind. But it helps when they're like in a more obscure band and then it's more intimate when you can get closer to them. That's the kind of concert I would like to. There's no sense in going to one of those giant auditorium concerts where you end up just watching somebody on the television screen. <laughs> why am I why am I being so uh, opinionated right now? Yeah, okay. So she's pulling this off. I would say that this was a nice Saturday casual outfit except for um, the peekaboo shoulders, but maybe it looks like that she would be doing some house cleaning in this outfit which maybe it shouldn't be. I guess I really don't like the pattern on this top. I think it's a little too silly and a little too bold. And this could be a really elegant top if it was like in a nice solid color. In white, I would love that top. I mean, uh, Jetta would be wearing this top right now if it was in white. Okay, so are we gonna put this 
Are we going to put this pink dress on this girl? Why not? She's going to look really spacey in this. It's going to look good on her. Um, um, lineups will be bad. Yeah, lineups are always bad. Me neither. I don't know what I don't know what Andreas is saying. Me neither too. Um, Jose says, yeah, I went to Disneyland Paris, and the lines are so long. Yeah, I don't stand in line for anybody or anything anymore. That's not my thing. There's a restaurant that wants you to take your name and. Uh, I'll be I'll be going across to the street to the other restaurant. Thank you very much. All right. Um, the pink elastic in her hair is definitely helping, and she does look spacey because of the green. So this is a good futuristic space look for her too. Okay, let's move on to the accessories. I think we got some good outfits on her. I think she looks the best though. I think this goes back to my my days of sexy librarians. So maybe that's why. Are there a pair of glasses in this set? That would be awesome. No, unfortunately not. All right. So I forget which accessories were supposed to go with which things. So that's not even going to matter to us. But let's just take some stuff. So we have a white watch. And that would be the most simplistic of accessories. So I'm going to put that on the most simplistic outfit. The one where she could be a soccer mom and she could be cleaning the house. And she needs to know what time it is because she needs to pick up her kids from soccer practice. So she does have a watch on. And yeah, I think that looks good with that outfit. So that's a win. Now we got this blue purse here. Let's see how that's going to go. Close of the sunset here. Oh, we don't. Our sunset went a long time ago here. We've got this very weird, 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 weird purse. It's like almost like a space alien purse. So let me see what's going on. Those two purses are very fancy, fancy necklace. Okay, so I'm going to put this with a casual outfit or you know what? Let's put this. This is good too because I like this adding the color to it. So we got her with her green hair, her red dress, and her blue purse. So that's going to look super good together. It's an alien pod purse. So for this alien girl, that's that's good. I like that. That goes good there. Okay. Let's see now. We've got... Okay. We've got a very, very fancy purse. So this isn't going to go with just anybody. But, okay, I thought maybe because she has the fanciest outfit on that I would put with her, but no, because there's a clutch that's definitely going to look better for her. This sophisticated, edgy girl, I think, is going to look best with this gold purse right here. And then I'm going to go ahead also. I want her to carry it in her hand, though. And I'm going, oh, she just threw it. Oh, I just lost my glasses. Hey, I've been doing pretty good without my glasses today. That's good. I don't think I had any water today. Actually, no, I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give her this matching bracelet because there is an extra accessory in this pack. And they look like they go well together. So let me show you that. So she gets the gold purse and the gold bracelet, and they're both kind of cool and edgy. They can be. So yeah, and there's there's a like a Stepford wife thing going on here. Her hips look a little hippie for this dress is accentuating her hips, but I guess I mean 
It's not such a bad thing. So yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay. So this, the gold necklace I'm kind of worried about. But this heart-shaped clutch here, I don't know why I'm trying in, I don't know why I'm typing in all caps. What did Frenchie scream at us? Classy. She's cute. People people are liking no water today. Oh, yeah. I better drink some water. <laughs> it's always hard to make the clutch hang the way that it's, it should naturally fall. Can I get it over her whole wrist? Or do I need to just to hold it in her hand? I think it's best if she holds it in her hand. And then here we go. And it matches her dress, so I mean, that's cool. I mean, I guess, I don't know how a clutch would be this color, orange anyway, or pink. I guess it's a light pink. It's kind of an orangey pink. I guess it would have to be plastic if it was that color, or I guess it could be material. Um, so yeah, I think that looks good with her outfit. But here's the last outfit in the last doll. I don't know how this is going to work out, but... I actually think it may work out okay. And it does. So then we've got this gold necklace to go on her. And nobody really has an open neck, which is kind of strange. Because if you're going to wear a necklace like this, you should probably, you know, have it on your skin. Let's try it on this girl to see how it would look like that. Yeah, that would be a good neckline for that necklace. But it does look good on her. So everybody got some accessories. And the girl with the simplest dress on got two accessories. So that kind of makes sense too. So this was this was all win win win. I don't think we would have had better options. I don't think I think we made all of the right choices here, don't you? I haven't seen any of those in a minute. Um, my Walmart had a surplus of one out fashion packs. Yeah, that happens a lot where you just see one outfit all the time and then you don't see anything else. All right, let me put on my glasses. Oh, I haven't seen any. Oh, I read that. I just read that. I looks great in the pink top. Oh, are, do you want to try the pink top on? Can you show a up close of the gorgeous Afro girl's face? I can do that, Frenchie. She really is the only face mold. Well, I mean, Barbie, from the Barbie and the Rockers, she's my favorite because she is the most interesting and the prettiest. Her hair is insane. It's really, really thick. It's funny how it frames her face so much, too. But it's a good, thick head of hair. Really interesting Neapolitan design to it too. Neapolitan head is what her name should be. She's got a great face, yes. I mean, I don't really have a problem with Barbie's face, but it's just so common. But it is a pretty face. She looks really wonky, but I think it's just how the light is catching her eye. Yeah, she's not so wonky. This one looks like she has a smushed in face, though. And her eye is a little wonky. It was really hard to find the Barbie and the Rockers with good eyes. This girl, I had to, like, buy three times. Oh, and her eye still looks wonky. Sometimes it looks wonkier than others. And this was, this was like, my third try. And she was, like, the best one I've ever seen. And... When I hold her like this, it looks super wonky. But like this, it doesn't look wonky at all. How about like this? And maybe for you guys, it's going to be different because I'm seeing the, the reverse. So you guys are going to see different than I do. And that's kind of funny how the human eye sees things differently. But when I put her like this, her eyes look really wonky. But I bet for you, when I put her like this... Her eye is going to look really wonky. 
<laughs> Once you see it, you can't unseen it. See it. It's totally true, Earl Morning Gray. But you can look away. I had to order. Where is that one? I had to order a third of one of these because I really want to like this doll and she's my favorite doll but both of mine the eyes are just not good so I can't handle it and right now when I'm looking at them on the screen they look good but they're not good and I can't handle it because she has to be perfect Oh, now I feel like I'm being too judgy because they look good. But if I stare at them too long, then they don't look good. Yeah, I don't know. I can't I can't worry about that right now. Um some um, real people's faces are wonky, though. Yeah, no, totally. One of my eyes is bigger than the other eye, too. And and I don't have a problem with that. And I usually don't have a problem with that. But, you know, some are so bad or so off that it's just too unacceptable. But I usually do accept it as, hey, human faces are not symmetrical. And that's what gives us character. I had to order and return three times the soccer can to get one with the good eyes. The soccer can is one of the hardest good eyes I've had to track down when toy hunting, for sure. Is the red head doll with beauty mark a fashionista Barbie lover? It's the red head doll with the beauty. Oh no, she is the drummer from she definitely looks better with her hair up. Um, She is the the drum no she's not the drummer she is the violinist from barbie and the rockers or saxophone player or something like that she's from barbie and the rockers and i really struggled with her face she kind of looks like jan arden i definitely like her hairdo but i don't really like her but i'm glad you do that's good how about some shoes now? Well, the shoes that I have available are limited. But I did just sort them today. So let's do what we can. So first off, let's, uh, who can wear boots? Um, no, um, definitely not. But somebody who could get away with these boots might be this Barbarella girl. How do we feel about that? I wish WWE make curvy dolls. Um, well, they make uh, made-to-move curvy dolls, so... And then... This girl. I got a pair of red shoes. So I'm going to put... It's the only, all the other shoes I have on my other dolls right now. So the basic shoes, except these red ones, which definitely look best with this outfit, which you can't see. All right, she's gonna stand. She's gonna perch herself up here like this. Okay, and then sit there, sit, sit. 
And then her, let's see, she can definitely get away with a pair of sneakers. So, not blue ones. How about white? White high top sneakers. Because remember, she's the soccer mom. <laughs> These are awfully big shoes. That's th that that's one of the big problems. Because the shoes that they have to make for toys, that's kind of why they make Barbie's feet so small. Because to allow for the thickness of the plastic, but sometimes it looks okay. Um, we don't have any other dressy shoes in here. All my dressy shoes are on other dolls, but here, let's, uh, here's a good one. We've got these golden sneakers, which might match this girl's, at least she can wear these on her way to work. So that again, she's looking the best. I like I like how that looks on her. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The She-Ra doll had um boots that were made out of material and they fit and look really good on because they're really thin because they're the material and elastic and they're the best uh, boots for this scale doll that I've ever seen. Yes, the new Barbie in a wheelchair looks awesome. She doesn't need to wear shoes. And then we have this girl. So let's put on These boots? No. What can she wear? Oh, yeah. She's going to wear combat boots, of course. Because evening gowns and combat boots look awesome together, don't you think? You think her clutch and her combat boots look good together? Did I get any pink heels? There's a couple new um, WWE girls that are coming out with really good shoes to wear. So hopefully, I'll get my hand. There's a silver. Um, there's a silver like strapped shoe that comes with one of them. And so yeah, there's some good shoes coming our way. But I think this is this is all good. I want a super fat Asian male doll. A super they have to be super fat. I don't know if fat's a good word to use. Unless it's P-H-A-T. Oh, Liam went away and is back now. Um, yeah, I want everyone's represented in my collection. Yeah, it's true. We really should have everyone represented. Um, she's prepared for anything then. Yes, with her military boots for sure. No, no to the boots. Which boots? These ones? I don't really have a better option right now. I mean, there's these Naomi construction boots, which I would say no. I have another pair of gold sneakers. I have lots and lots of purple sneakers. I actually should have more purple sneakers than this. I don't know where the rest of them would be. Because there should be like 22 of them here. This doesn't look like 22. Or maybe it does. Look at all those purple sneakers. That is a lot of purple sneakers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, me trying to get the best out of my Barbie and the rockers and putting new outfits on them. I do have another fashion pack, so that's going to come up really soon. Maybe I will wait to have her rebodied with my new Naomi doll 
So maybe I'll wait for that to do this. Oh, oh, whoa, to do this one. But I do appreciate you guys coming out and playing Barbies with me today. So, uh, hey, and if you haven't li liked this video, give it a like. I love your likes and I love your comments. So come back and leave a comment and vote on your favorite doll and your favorite dress. I want to know all of your opinions. And I hope you had as much fun playing Barbies as I did. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And my battery's going low. Um, we'll see you next time. Love you.